Hey, welcome back to the channel for another vlog. Uh, this is an interesting one today. We've got quite the story for you. Uh, this is a little uh, shot of the setup. Um, this story is sponsored by Jack in the Box Tacos uh, and the Celiac Disease Foundation because I have celiac and I did not know those regular tacos had wheat. So here begins the story. Uh, we start with the breakdown. Mike and I having just left Jack in the Box having a delicious dinner. It was not so delicious, but you know. And we're loading out the cart, getting ready to do a live stream for a graduation. Uh, we actually had a two nights back-to-back -back deal. We were doing eighth grade the first night and high school the next night. So here we are setting up on the field. We had four cameras, we had a boom mic, we had a feed from the audio uh, running wirelessly over to our ATEM mixer. I had the cart set up kind of DIT style where I was uh, running everything on the switcher. And you'll see me sit down here because I started feeling so queasy, um, I could hardly stand up. Uh, I could barely even sit down either, but the show went on. Uh, and now that we were set up, here's the cameras. We got the cart, got the ATEM mixer, all that good stuff hanging out um, there. We got our big bright monitors. So in addition to me feeling lousy and Mike having to set everything up by himself, in the middle of the graduation, I threw up. I had to run away from my booth, run over to the trash can in front of the entire audience, and lose my dinner. Had to go back, sit down, finish out the show, and that's what happened. So at the end of the night, I'm still feeling lousy. This is me sitting in the car, watching Mike pack everything back up by himself. So I am super thankful to the Lord that I had Mike there to help me get through this event. If you ever wondered what's inside the V&D for a Tilta Mirage, we went ahead and cracked one open for you so you could check it out. Actually, we just totally dropped this in all the craziness of the night with me feeling terrible. Here we are, unloading. We got Augie with us today. Augie the man, Augie's the myth, the legend. <laughs> right, he's part of our main crew. And... Test, test. He's here to help because I'm still feeling bad. Yeah, and this is also like pressure on Augie to get his channel going, so. Do it. Do it. I am oh. basically lazing out and vlogging because I got food poisoning yesterday at last night's rehearsal for uh, graduation. And I uh, threw up in the middle of it in, uh, in that trash can right there. So that was exciting. And uh, I'm still feeling terrible. But we're here. We're gonna make it happen. Actually, we're up here. This is called a really stuffed car. Who needs a cargo van when you can just stuff your car full of oh, everything? We do. we do. Oh, that's right. We do need a cargo van so that we don't have to break this cart down and we can actually get everything, you know, rolled up in there and be cool and smart instead of smart, yes. whatever this is. I'm delusional right now still. <laughs> so here we are taking stuff out of the car and then setting it up. Uh, we're putting up again four cameras. We got the cart. This time we got Augie to help us, which helped out a ton because um, I was feeling better, but still not totally uh, in the game. Um, so here you can see um, we ended up with one camera for a super wide up on a C stand. Uh, then we've got the cart. We've got the wireless coming off the FX6. We've got um, the 21 and a half inch monitor and the 15 inch monitor. Um, I switched and used the big one for the multi view. That was nice uh, running into OBS on the MacBook for recording. Uh, so this live stream is actually not broadcast live. It's recorded. And then as soon as the event's over, we're handing them a thumb drive and they go and upload it. So it's kind of like a delayed live uh, recording. So as far as we're concerned, it's a live recording. It's just we don't have um, actual streaming out. And then here's Augie. Uh, he was um, on crew running our extra cameras today, which was super helpful. Boom pole, picking up some uh, ambient. We're up in Tatchpee where the wind is crazy. So we got that big fluffy uh, deal on there. Here's just a little uh, POV of me doing some live switching. Uh, as graduates are coming in, all I'm doing is looking at monitors, ca making calls, and hitting buttons. <laughs> um, it's a good job for sitting down, but you can see everyone's behind me. So when I did have to throw up in that trash can, uh, I was in front of the entire crowd, and they all saw it, and we got to hear uh, about that afterwards. Joke of the day and laugh that deserves an award that nobody will ever forget and will forever cherish. Mr. and Mrs. Grimes always cheering for their students in the bleachers. Mrs. Tremazy always catching us with gum in our mouths when we entered the library. And all the Coming other forward. teachers and staff that made a huge impact on us as we move on and carry these memories and people to look up to with us. 
On another note, our friends during club THS, rallies, dances, ASB, extracurriculars, and outside school activities are memories that last a lifetime and that we should forever cherish. This class is special. And once we're done, uh, time to break down. The crowd comes on the field, so we got to get all the cables and everything out of the way quickly. That way people don't trip on our stuff. Um, so we just kind of got to shrink it to a small footprint and then try to break it down with people all around us. Uh, so that's always fun. But hey, it's what we do. Uh, it's part of the job. We got to keep safety in mind uh, when there's crowds of people around. Uh, once everyone clears out, it's a little easier to finish breaking down. We can actually pull the car up and load everything in, so that was nice. Um, overall, the shoot went great both nights um, in terms of end result, even if I was feeling terrible. So we had a good result. Um, I was actually feeling well enough to help with the packing a little bit, uh, which was nice um, to not have to just literally sit there in the car <laughs> and watch Mike do it all. Uh, and we had Augie to help too, so that was awesome. So uh, a great lesson there is always have uh, people with you because what happens if you get sick and you're by yourself and you still got to deal with all this. So it was great having Mike uh, last night and then uh, the second night having Augie. So packing out the rest of the stuff in the car as it gets dark because we had a lot of stuff, uh, but it was good and the client was happy and so were we.